Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just got done walking the dogs and so that's why I look like this and just rocking the t-shirt. Um, but I wanted to get a weight loss related video up this week. Um, it's been kind of super crazy in my life right now, so a lot going on, but I did want to sit down and at least take a little bit of time and um, sit down and talk to you guys a little bit about um, a few things that I've been wanting to talk about, I guess. Something that I wanted to discuss first off, if you didn't see my last video for my weight loss related videos, I'll go ahead and link that down below. Basically, I went through and talk about my whole journey to get to where I am today. So where I am today is I'm about 30 pounds away from meeting my 100 pound weight loss goal. And so I've been kind of having a hard time finding motivation to kind of get back into it, hit the ground running and lose the rest of the weight that I need to. Um, I find that I do really well when I'm really consistent and then when holidays hit or certain things happen, I have a hard time getting back into it, but I always have to remind myself why I started and try and incorporate things like setting goals to help me get back on track. So one of the first things that I wanted to talk about in this, I guess, series you could say is setting goals. And for a lot of people, setting goals with weight loss tend to be goal example of I want to lose 50 pounds. Now, that's a terrible goal to set in my opinion. Not long term, I think losing 50 pounds, anybody can do it. It's totally attainable. However, setting the goal of 50 pounds isn't going to help you lose 50 pounds. The key with losing weight is you have to set goals that are going to result in weight loss. And I can't stress that enough because I am the type of person that when I very first hit my heaviest and then really committed to losing the weight. I struggled for a very, 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 very long time because I would say, okay, I want to lose 10 pounds this month. Then halfway through the month, if I was only down three pounds, I would feel defeated because I would feel like, how am I going to lose seven more pounds in two weeks? Or it wasn't until I really made that connection that setting a pound, like a amount of weight to lose in a certain amount of time is not setting myself up for success. In fact, it's setting me up for failure because like I said, as an example, if you don't meet your timeline, who's to say you feel like you're going to even meet it at all. For me, it's all about setting goals that are going to result in weight loss. You could even just pick one goal per day. Breaking it up in the smallest increments possible is going to be the best way for you to achieve success to achieve success. For example, tomorrow, my goal would be to drink five jugs of water at work. If I drink those five jugs of water at work tomorrow, it's gonna result in a positive impact on me trying to lose weight. Another example I would set with it being nicer out, I wanna make sure I get a workout in tomorrow, no matter what, no matter if it's a run, walking the dogs, doing my deck of cards workout. Setting a small goal of I'm gonna work out tomorrow and completing it means that you're one day closer to losing more weight. Setting these small incremental goals will result in a weight loss because just like anyone knows, little bits and pieces will add up to big achievements. So for example, let's say for the first week of May, I wanna work out every day this week. If I can complete that, that's one whole week of working out that will in fact, if I'm not picking out of course, will result in weight loss. There's a connection with that for me that really, once I thought of it that way, it just like, it clicked. Once I got rid of the pounds, lost goals, like those will not get you to where you need to be. I have 30 pounds left that I wanna lose to hit my 100 pound mark lost. And if I just say, I wanna lose 30 pounds by August, what's gonna get me there? You have to think of what's gonna get you to that end result that you want. Don't set that end result as a goal to go after. Set the goal of what you're gonna do to take those steps to then lose that weight. So for me, setting goals like staying within my calorie restriction, drinking enough water, getting my workouts in, if I can focus on these goals, break them down into one day, one day, it will add up, trust me, because if you do that for one day, set your goal, tomorrow I'm gonna work out. You get that workout in, the day after that, goal, I'm going to work out again. Work out again, and there you go. It's a consecutive goal that you have completed 
that will result in weight loss. I hope that makes sense, but that's something that for me was a huge benefit once I started thinking it that way and breaking it down. So if you guys have any questions on how I go about that, um, just leave the comments, leave a comment below and I can help as much as I can. But the easier you make this on yourself, the easier it's going to be. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy whatsoever because at the end of the day, you do have to put in the work. You do have to eat right. And it, it does take a lot of work. But if you break it down into more smaller manageable sections, you're going to get the results. Another quick thing that I wanted to touch on really quick is how I managed my food. I'm not going to go into a lot of details, but for me, counting calories is what works best. It makes me have a real connection with the food that I'm putting into my body and knowing that if I want to make that bad choice, I'm going to pay for it calorie wise because if I'm, let's say for example, um, when I was at my heaviest, really trying to lose the weight, I restricted myself to 1600 calories a day. Now, for me, it was all about keeping track of that. I picked up just one of these diet journals from a bookstore. Uh, benefit of this particular book is in the back. It has all, I mean, even Frankfurters. It has a whole listing of foods and how many calories they are. I know that is not $10 on a diet book isn't realistic for all of you. Um, for me, I needed to buy something to make me committed to writing it down. Of course, there are a ton of apps that you can get for free even as far as my fitness pal and other examples. However, for me, there's something about physically writing it down. For me, writing it down in this book, I can write down all of my food, look up the calories, um, put the calories in there, put a goal in there for the day. It's just about physically writing it down and making that connection. And again, having the calories right in the back of that book did make it easier. Now that this book, I have used all of the pages in it, instead of buying um, a new one of these, I actually just picked up a small notebook. Being it simple, 1600 calories a day, then let me stay within that amount. That way I can track it as I'm eating it. I can see where my splurge calories are going and if they're really worth it. I can see on days where I'm not eating enough. Um, it's just a good way to hold yourself accountable. And also, it's a great reference tool to go back and look on when you're kind of struggling, you're maybe in a slump or a plateau. You can go back and look, and I would track my weight in here. You can go back and look and say, I lost three pounds that week. What did I do that week that maybe is what really worked? And what am I doing this week that maybe I'm struggling with? So having that to reference for me, the best thing ever. Those are just a few of my tips that I have for kind of starting out and getting going with weight loss. You just have to hold yourself accountable, but make manageable goals. You have to make a goal that's going to result in weight loss. And I cannot stress that enough. Once you make that connection of setting a goal that will result in losing weight, then you will already be ahead of the game. So it's about to rain here, so I'm probably going to lose my window light, so I will leave it at that. I just wanted to say thanks for watching and all the support. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on what I've touched on today, definitely leave me a comment below, and I would be happy to touch on that for you um, or get more information for you. Again, I'm not an expert, just going off my experience, so I appreciate all of you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for future videos like this, and we will see you next time.